Hello fellow YouTube community. I was tempted to buy a Plexi Marshall to use it for my home recordings. I bought it, bought one uh, from Toman and hook it up with the Mesa Boogie 2x12 horizontal cabinet. And I immediately understand that it's impossible to play it in a room environment because the amp does not have a volume knob in order to get a decent distortion tone or overdrive you need to crank the volume around at least noon. Then, uh, to produce a solution for that problem, I bought an attenuator, the cheapest one, uh, the Harley Benton brand, that I can find in, in this uh, Toman website. But when I play with it, the fan of attenuator kicks in and it makes this loud and really uh, annoying sound. Also, I guess if I reduce the volume a lot, it sacrifices a tone a little bit. This is the last thing I was uh, looking for. Or maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Then I started to look for an isolation cab for my home recordings and uh, I found this company called Mojo Tone. They have a Slamins 2x12 uh, cabinet and they have also isolation cab version of it. So I immediately contacted the company and there was uh, two guys, Keith and Fred, helped me a lot and they patiently answered all my questions. They were concerned and kind, thanks to them. And But there is one negative thing that I would like to mention though. Uh, initially they told me the shipping to UAE will be cost around $300 and the waiting period will be 4 to 6 weeks. I accepted the terms and ordered one cabinet for myself. But at the end of the waiting period, they doubled the shipping price because turns out they didn't know when they are calculating with it and shipping to UAE, it's a little bit costly than the normal. But I was already waiting more than four weeks at that time and I decided to continue with the pur purchasing process. I told them that I am planning to install two different speakers and it will be installed in parallel fashion. So. I wanted necessary cable harnesses with my order. Keith said that uh, the cap was designed to be used as stereo with two separate inputs. And if I want to use it with one input, I should use a fork style jack. But I insisted on going parallel and they uh, provided necessary extra wiring harnesses for me. After this four week period, additional one week was uh, I was waiting for the shipping to arrive and then cab arrived in uh, two separate big boxes and they delivered without any problem to United Arab Emirates with FedEx company, I guess. I didn't film the unboxing process but packaging was really decent and there was no damage in the boxes. I installed one Celestion Vintage 30 and one Celestion A-type speaker with parallel style. No soldering was required, there was this uh, plugs with these cable harnesses and it was fairly easy to uh, install them. Uh, both my speakers were 8 ohm so I reduced Marshall's impedance to 4 ohm uh, at the back side of the uh, head. And I plugged mic cables and mic holders. I installed Lewitt DTP 340TT model to Vintage 30 and Shure SM57 Beta uh, to A type and I closed the lid. Now I can open the gain knob around uh, 2 to 3 and I, I am using this Harley Benton attenuator around 1. Probably you can say like negative 30 dB around this, it should be around this because there is no dB uh, marks on the attenuator. And the sound in the room was manageable. I can only say that it's manageable because sound in the room that I can only hear but if I try to record it with a microphone, it will be like, like a snapshot of the uh, sound in the room. So you will not be able to make a scientific comparison anyway. As a result, I would like to say that I'm happy with my purchase, even though I paid a little bit too much for shipping, because I'm living a little bit far from the United States. I highly recommend this cab for uh, recording loud guitars at home. If you are a guy like me, if you are not gigging, because once you merge all these components, 
I believe you don't want to take it apart. And you can actually, you can take it apart and you can take it to the gig, but I guess it's more convenient to use it in one piece without any hustle, without any uh, dismantling process at home for recording only. This is my uh, humble opinion about that. Uh, I guess that's all. And you don't necessarily need to like or subscribe to my channel. You are welcome if you want to do that. I'm not a YouTuber, probably I will not become one. So, but if you want to check out my music, I will leave a link to the description and thank you for watching.